morning, Park Cubs. Today's Tuesday, May 9th, May 9th, 2017. We kick off the cover report by celebrating today's birthdays. In addition to the usual items in the center station, we will have nachos. It's now time to read off some of the high five awards. To Kevin Miles for being an awesome friend, and so so is Aiden and Troy and Brad, Bradley and and from Edgar. Dear Jessica Martier for being my friend and helping when I need help. Unknown. Chloe, you have been so nice to me. I am glad to have a good friend like you. Don't let anyone change you, Dakota. Dear Dakota, you are the best friend ever. You understand me. Thank you so much. Unknown. Cubs, you can recognize something nice that someone does for Park by writing them a high five award. See the table outside of Mr. Osborne's office and put your award in the red box. The seventh grade boys baseball Baseball team played the Desert Hills Hawks for the second time this season. Last Wednesday and did so much better against them. Raul Romero started on the mount and pitched two great innings, followed by James Godino, who also pitched well. The Park Cubs performed some great base running. Ashton Moe and Daniel Nichols, Nichols ran really hard and stole a few bases along with, much, with most of the team. Our Park Cubs are getting much better. Keep up the great work. Today, there is a track meet at Desert Hills Middle School. Tomorrow, there will be an A softball game at the K Fields. Thursday, there will be a B baseball game against Horse Heavens Hills. Good luck to all our athletes. Planning to, to, be, planning to play a sport for next year? There will be a student sports physical, physical clinic on Saturday, June 10, at Trails Care, Trails Care Center. There are, they are for any 7th through 12th grade. Athletes in need of one. Registrations will be f will be f from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. Sports physicals are good for two years. So sixth graders, go get yours and be prepared for seventh and eighth grade. Remember to tell them that you are from Park Middle School. It's not too late to pre-purchase your yearbook. The cost is $20 payable in the office. Get yours reserved today before they are all sold out. This week, these candidates are running for ASB officer position. Speeches will be f shown in homeroom classes and at lunch starting on Thursday. Please be respectful for all, all of our posters and flyers up on the walls. On Friday, you will be allowed to vote for up to two candidates, and the top three candidates at each grade level will, be be will become next year's officers. Good luck to all of those running for ASB officer. Once again, it's College Future Tuesday. This week, Mr. Cornell tells us about his experience at Central Washington University. Hi, Mr. Cornell. Hello. What college? Well, I went to two colleges. I went to CBC here in, in Tri-Cities in Pasco, and then I transferred to Central Washington University in Ellensburg. And how did you choose what to major in? Um, well, I was in, involved in band and music for since fifth grade, all through high school and everything, and then... Um, when I graduated high school, I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do, so I went to CBC just to try out a bunch of different things, and I kept playing music the whole time, and eventually I decided to, um, that I wanted to be a music teacher, so I majored in music education. What was your favorite class? Band, always. <laughs> what was your biggest challenge? Um, I would say just having the, the discipline to, to get through um, the college degree. And, um, and making sure that it was something that I really wanted to do for the rest of my life and it was something that I could make money at and, and something that I would enjoy a lot at the same time. So with that, what would you say to students who feel like there are too many obstacles in the way for them to go to college? I think you, once you set a goal, you should have the attitude that you will do whatever it takes to, to get it done and, and to achieve your goal because if you discipline yourself and work hard to achieve your goal, it's going to be so worth it when you finally make it there. Did you get to travel during your college experience? I got to travel a lot. Um, I got to see, I think I've seen like 40 or 45 of all 50 states um, through just being in, in band and music. Um, I've gotten to go to cool places like New York um, and Whistler in Canada. Monterey, California, LA, 
um, lots of places in Texas and just all over the place, um, and all because I, I stuck with band. Were there any opportunities that opened up for you during college? Um, I had a ton of opportunities, and the, the great thing about it was I had to even turn some down. Um, I, got to, I got to write the drill formations for Central's marching band. Um, I was one of the only students selected to do that, and that was amazing. Um, and I got to go to um, this thing called the Monterey Jazz Festival down in Monterey, California. And um, on a, because our band made it into the festival, they were one of, I think, five college bands in the country that made it. And so we got to go down there and play and meet all of our jazz heroes down there. It was amazing. So what would you say to students who might not want to go to a college like you did? Um, I think it all depends on what your goal is for your career. Um, and you can get there usually a bunch of different ways. For me, college was the only way I could be, become a music teacher and, and do what I wanted to do. So um, that's what I did. And um, But it really just depends on what you would enjoy doing for the rest of your life that you can make a, a living off of. And then you should take whatever path necessary to get there, whether that's to your college, um, just joining the workforce right away, or going through the military, or whatever you need to do. So what's your plan for the future? This week's motivational quote is, a student is more than just a test score, and so is a teacher. Do your best on your test, but remember that you, your value is more than just your score. Remember, your ID should be on Invisible at all times today. Please show your IDs to your teacher now. This and our previous cub reports are online and can be found by going to www.youtube.com slash parkmiddleschoolcubs. That's it for today, Cubs. I'm Jennifer, your 6th grade ASB officer. And remember, all park cubs are capable of success. No exceptions.